Welcome back everybody to another YouTube video, this time showcasing a vintage uh, return I got back from PSA yesterday. Uh, the, the description on vintage of this order is uh, kind of wide range because this is order is stuff from the 19, 1910s to 1920s. So uh, all this stuff I got in a collection last year and sent it off last year, almost to the full year ago, uh, finally got back uh, only $8.50 per card on the grading fees. I was a collector's club members special uh, rate for $8.50. So pretty cheap uh, in investment to get these graded and uh, time to show you the results. First off, we've got a T206. These are 1909 T206 with sweet cap earl back. Harry Arndt, graded as a PSA 3. Uh, I think the back, there's the back. It looked pretty clean. A little bit of staining on there, but definitely have seen worse than this before. Next up, another T206. Uh, this one's a Piedmont back. It's a uh, Hall of Famer Joe Tinker uh, with the bat on the shoulder. Real rough condition. Again, missing part of the corner. That's what you almost expect to see on some of the old tobacco cards. This one graded pour one with a mark. Put the marks on the back. Yep. You can see right there a big blue blob. And there's just not, not a good quality card. But for something over 100 years old. I'll show the front again. It's presentable. That's that's all that matters. Next up, this one's a T207 with the brown background. Charles, I think his nickname was Buck, because when I was looking him up to try to get some history on it, he was under the name Buck. This one's just labeled as authentic. Not good enough to get a number grade, so they just said, well, it's real. So that's pretty important, just the fact that it's real. The back of it is really faded and weak on it. Maybe that's the, the main reason why it only got the authentic grade, but it's real. Actually, believe it or not, I the, the sticker down the bottom corner, that's what I could dig up for information on the VCP site for that kind of a card and that kind of a grade, just, just being authentic is worth about 80 bucks. Next off, we jump up to 1920. This is from the W516-1. Uh, that was the, um, under. I found that out under VCP. Jesse Barnes, I think he's a Hall of Famer. I didn't really check too much nope, info. Nope, not a him. Hall of Famer. These are hand-cut strip cards. They came in multiplayer strips and people would cut them to size and whatever. This one got a PSA 4 on it, and I looked up the pop report on it, and there was only, this is only the third one ever been graded to reach that PSA 4 level. I think there were a couple higher than this, maybe one or two, but not many. Not many get to this level, especially on the hand-cut stuff. Uh, the backs of them are pretty, uh, pretty plain, but... Uh, Again, the pop report shows there are not many of these in existence that they've done. So, happy with that one. Next up, we've got another uh, 1920 W516 hand cut. This one's Benny Koff. Uh, not a good enough to get a grade. You can see it's missing part of the top there. The front surface isn't too good. Just got the authentic grade. Just... To know that it's real but again checked vcp and just an authentic one of these sells around the hundred dollar range so next up another 1920 w516 this one's hall of famer christy matthewson a little bit better condition than the last card i mean it's it's got it's got wear on it for something Oh, 1920, that's 101 years old. Uh, corners are rounded. You can see there's a wrinkle crease on the left side there. Uh, the back of it. 
pretty clean as far as something you'd expect for a hundred something year old card. So again, I checked the VCP site on this for any kind of average pricing grades. And yeah, they have a price for authentic, 325. I'm like, wow. But again, one of the all time great pitchers, Christy Mathewson. Next up, really surprised on this one. Another 1920 W516. This one's Jimmy Ring. Actually got a PSA 4 grade on it. Check the pop report on it. This is the only one ever to get that grade. None higher. So this is like a, a one of one of a kind thing. Uh, Jimmy Ring can barely make it out there. Pitch for Cincinnati back in 1920. Very pretty nice. As far as the centering and the corners are okay. Again, 100-year-old card. The back of it. Okay. I mean, you can see the lines in there, but that's probably from it being the... Uh, well, that's actually the, from the, on the front. You can actually see through enough to see those lines from the front of the card. And uh, this might have been the end section of one of the strips. So, again, I checked the pop report. Check VCP, um, and this one being the one only one, I had to guess on a price. I'm gonna guess 300 for something like this. Not a Hall of Famer, but a decent pitcher back then in that time frame on it, from what I could tell. And the pop one really helps out. Next up, another 1920 W516 Will Cooper hand cut strip card. Again, another one, Pop 1. Well, this one got a grade of PSA 6. I'm like, well, no wonder it's a Pop 1. They've never, <laughs> very hard to get grades above 4 on these kind of, these kind of strip cards. This one, 6, unbelievable. Uh, <clears throat> I also checked the Pop, I don't think there was even a, uh, anything in the PSA 3, 4, and 5, so... I think the next highest one of this car, this uh, strip card was a PSA 2. So very, very rare. Again, pop one. No way to have uh, sample pricing on it or comps or an eBay or anything. I just had to put a number on it for a one-of-a-kind item, 100-year-old strip card. Non-Hall of Famer, but incredible condition for a 100-year-old card. So... Happy with that. Next time, we're going to jump up a few years to all the way to 1923. This is W515 hand cut strip card. This one's Hall of Famer Rogers Hornsby. Uh, did, didn't get a number grade on it. It's pretty rough condition. It did get authentic, so it is real. You can see the right side and the top have all kinds of damage to it, but Hornsby's one of the all time greats. So. Happy to find that in the collection that I bought, and they had a they had a, a price on VCP had a price for an authentic one of these in the seventy five dollar range. So I'll take it for a car like this. Next up, we're gonna jump up a few more years, all the way up to nineteen twenty six. Hand cut this time, it's Hall of Famer Trish Speaker. Uh, again, not not enough to give it a number grade, so they just put authentic on it. Uh, it's missing part of the bottom there. You can see corners were nice. I mean, if that bottom part were there was there whole, you might be looking at a four PSA four or whatever. That's what I could. Well, there's a little bit of a wrinkle on there, but um, the back clean, nothing too horrendous about it, and I found a price. For an authentic one on the VCP site. It was around 100 bucks. <clears throat> but Hall of Famer, Trish Speaker. Next up. This was one of the big surprises in the collection when I was found all these. 1926 W512 hand cut strip card. Hall of Famer Ty Cobb. Uh, looks like they did a great job cutting it or whatever. But I think it cut a little too much on it because... It was not enough uh, border around all of it to give it an uh, a PSA number grade. So they just gave it the authentic, so it's real. 
from what I found out, there is two versions of this. One is just says Ty Cobb Detroit AL on the bottom. The second version, it'll say something about X or a manager or whatever on the bottom there. So this is the dash one or, uh, or the first version of this card. Whoop, back of it's pretty clean. But a Hall of Famer like this in a strip card, there's what I found for, uh, there was actually a recent eBay sale on one of these as authentic. So I got, a, I was able to find a, a fairly recent comp for it. <clears throat> really pleased that it was real. Next up, how about a 1926 F12, W512 Babe Ruth hand cut. Again, Hall of Famer, all-time great. I think it was cut a little bit too much around the perimeter. That's why they only gave it the authentic grade on it. But how many times are you able to hold a Babe Ruth card, hold and own a Babe Ruth card from the 19, from his playing years? Yeah, there are plenty of cards after he's done playing and everything. But this one is during his, during his prime, 1926. Uh, I was able to find a... Uh, PSA, uh, a comp for it. There was another one fairly close to it. Twelve hundred dollars. Pretty nice, nice back. Not marked up or anything, but super happy with this one. Just being real <clears throat> and authentic. So nice one. Now we're gonna jump up a few more years. Now we're into 1933 Gaudi, Richard Kaufman. Poor, gave it a poor one with a mark. I think you can, it was like, looked like there was light writing on the front there. It's got a long wrinkled crease down the center. Uh, the back of it's even got a mark on it too. NY dot, dot N. And the St. Louis Browns were lined off. Found a fairly decent comp for it, 20 bucks. But 1933, so we were talking almost just shy of 90 years old. Well, happy with that. Next up, we got a 1933 Gaudi Owen Carroll. Again, a fair 1.5 with another mark on it. Back of it. There's the mark on the big blue markings or whatever on it. Again, around a $20 card. Next up, next to last card, 33 Gaudi Carl Reynolds. Again, same grade, fair, 1.5 with a mark. Uh, if I can find, it might be that mark that's right under the E and Y of Reynolds. There's a, look like a little ink line there. And marking on the back there, and they lined off St. Louis Browns. Recent comp, fairly recent comp, was on $30 for a 1.5 car Reynolds. And last card, but not least, 1933 Gaudi Mickey Cochran. Hall of Famer, fair 1.5 for the grade. Wrinkle down the center again. No marks on this one, so this one is pretty good. I'll, I priced it at 200 even with that wrinkle crease or whatever down the center. Found comps or on checked VCP at 1.5s around $200. So anyway, that's the order. Only 15, 16 cards total, but... A lot of all stuff you rarely see, and I know from watching a lot of other people's YouTube videos, usually it's the brand new stuff you see on video. You don't usually see uh, PSA re reveals of uh, stuff from the 20s and 30s. So anyway, that's it for this one. I've got a couple more orders coming real soon, so I hopefully can get a couple more uh, stuff. Not this old, but uh, some some really nice. Uh, Hall of Fame rookies and stuff are coming on another order that's just about completed. So anyway, hit the subscribe button, the like, all that. Share with your friends. Uh, and thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.